What's up mga kaibigan? Welcome here in my channel, Can Can Vlogs. And if you are new on our channel, please do consider to subscribe in my YouTube channel and click the notification bell for you to be updated on more upcoming videos to be uploaded. And for today's video, because it's a new day, so it's new vlog. And I'm going to share three important things that I've learned in this time that pandemic has arise. Yes, this crisis that hit around the world. I mean, hit the whole world, the planet. Yes, the humanity was affected. No races are being excuses. Small businesses, big businesses. And anything genders, anything sex, if you're young, if you are old, and anyone, anyone is being affected. Yeah. So there are the things, lessons I am going to share with you. And I hope it will help you to realize somewhat, somehow. Well, let's continue. And if you are interested for this video, please keep on watching until the end. So the first one that we have to tackle is all about the money. The essential of the money. Yes, money is very important nowadays, especially in this pandemic. Who knows, there will be an upcoming pandemic soon, but... Oh my god, in the name of Lord, please... Wagna. And the first one is have a quotation in a Filipino quotation such... Kapag may isnuksok, may madudukot. Yes, this is the important of emergency fund. That we, Filipino, and the other races, we have to save money anywhere. In a bank, in a piggy bank, and any bank. <laughs> bank, bank. Yes, you have to, we have to, sh you have to save money from all of our incomes at least one-fourth of it for us to be prepared for the future so how we will do that first up we have to cut down all of the expenses that we have especially if that is not really important if that is just for your leisure if it's not a basic needs well do not waste your money for that, okay? So, how would you do that? You have to budget your money. You have to budget your money according to your needs. You have to organize what are those things you have to spend your money, like for your electric bills, your water bills, your basic needs, your foods, and somewhat very important for you. And those money left, you have to spend that on your piggy bank. On your bank, you have to save that one, okay? Because you have to prepare for the future. And of course, you have to take now a sidelines. You have to go for a sidelines. You have to utilize your skills and talent and monetize your skills and talents. Yes, if you are good in dancing, if you are good in somewhat like um internet or you are good on being an IT programmer, then you can use that one as a talent, as a skill. You have to work on that, monetize that one, okay? So the second one we're going to talk about is about the health. Yes, this pandemic teach us, remind us, rather, we have to be conscious in our health. Of course, we have to take care of our health, but most probably we, it's taught us, it's remind us, and proper hygiene that we have to do. Okay, that's really basics, and, and it was taught already when we are kids. So... What are you waiting for? And again, I don't want to say more on this, but I would like also to give emphasis just a little that stop or avoid eating such exotic foods that you don't like, especially if that food or if that exotic food you don't know will affect your body, okay? Then the third one and the last one is all about the spirituality yes the spirit 
This is the spirit to fight. To fight as one. To fight this pandemic. How can we do that? Even if we are an ordinary people, oh my God, you have to listen to your government. What are those instructions? And of course, you know, yourself, use your self-internalization. You have your mindset and use it in a good way. And of course, the spirit of loving, sharing, and giving. That's really important and the biggest thing that we have right now because it was really applied. And we see as those people who really help those first and those needs people the last one is the spirit to stand and fight yes stand and fight this is not the end of the world this is not in the end of your life so fight and go for it okay fight and fight so this video will not end of course by not things for all of our frontliners medicines soldiers and everyone who helped us in the times that SQ is there thank you thank you for all of you and of course for those people and individual out there our friends thank you for the patience that and the coordination that you've given to our government okay and of course I would like to say this in the late in the later part that disclaimer I'm not good in English I'm not fluent in English I'm just talking in english because it's an english challenge okay thank you and see you soon in my next videos babush